What is going on, governors? Chiskul here, and today we're battling at the Altar of Darkness, and the fighting has actually already started, so we're going to jump very quickly in-game here and get this started. Hope you're all doing well. Hi, hello, good evening, happy Valentine's Day as well. Stream hype? Yeah, let's freaking go, man. Valentine's Day stream? Oh, man. I, I just have to jump in game. You just got to see this. It's just not even fair, man. I mean, the dots tell the whole story, I think. Don't you? It's nasty out here, man. It's so nasty out here, man. Oh, my gosh. The maneuvering and outmaneuvering is a little intense right now. I, uh, yeah. Oof. Big shout out to the members and moderators in the chat. Payne, Kaiser, One Cold Gamer, Maz, Tedster, Daniel. BYG Pi, hey, how's it going? Morgoth, 1429, Inferno, 54100, how's it going? And Jonathan Tan, hey, welcome to the Elite Guard. Great to have you here. KL Squared, what's good? The dots tell the story, don't you think? <laughs> okay, well. We're moving back in with a fresh march. I was using Alexander the Great with Esong, obviously. That's almost back home and I'll run out of fresh one. When does Pass 4 open? Our Pass is opening... I believe it's like 16 UTC on Wednesday on the main account. So... 556, five, man. The heat's coming in. LVD, best KVK fight. I don't know. I feel like Season of Conquest is where the best fighting is, but I'm pretty hyped for this. I have already Max Nevsky, but I think Honda's very good. You probably need to do Nevsky, though. Tiny Tank, thank you for the message. Happy Valentine's. Cheers. Sasuke, how's it going? Oh my god, as is becoming tradition, I sneeze once at the start of the stream, apparently. <laughs> okay, sure. I remember you banned me from chat for absolutely nothing. I don't know, if you're in chat, I, I basically never unban people, so I must not have ever really banned you. Getting banned on my channel is pretty much a one-way road, man. There's, there's really almost no coming back from it. Are there any refunded gold chests in SW? Not to my knowledge. People, you gotta keep in mind that in Wolf, we had the highest gift level in the game and it took us two plus years to get to that point. Like it was a very, very, very long time. And most big alliances don't last that long in any one kingdom. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, when we were past in gift level, it was in a much, much younger kingdom that, to my knowledge, now, well, I don't know if all those people still can play the game. Let's put it like that. The weird, it's a weird, weird world we live in, friends. Pegboard nerds, you dig it? Why'd I zero Solimar? Just got bored, you know? Nevsky or XY? Probably Nevsky. Nevsky is one of those commanders that's just going to be like an everybody must max commander. I'm actually debating when I get to Season of Conquest on this account, no longer being a pure inf account. That's how good Nevsky is. 
just for context. Nevsky is beast. Nevsky is beast. Next archers. I think it's infantry next, right? And they should be pretty good. I would assume. Say Lord does was in our alliance. Um, I mean, he was in... 1846 and he's not in our alliance he did migrate to the kingdom and then like a day later get banned or whatever that's worth so gg maybe not quite literally a day but like pretty much Have you seen that people are wrongfully getting their resources taken? Yeah, that really disturbs me. The resource reclaiming disturbs me tremendously. And I have communicated, I feel, very, very clearly to the people that I am able to reach that I don't, I really don't like the way that that's happening and I don't think it makes sense for anybody. Oh no, my rage bar. Rip. I mean, this is rough for these guys, man. They've got like an alliance of players here and we have probably three. I just, I don't even know how they're gonna compete. I actually think they're just going to give up at some point, not too far away from now. Like, I just don't know what they think they're going to do. They're just so outnumbered. Yeah, I mean, you basically can't, you can't move resources right now. Like, it doesn't matter if you're out of resources, you can't transfer any resources anywhere for any reason. I wouldn't transfer. I'm honestly afraid to even plunder resources, quite frankly. You can't actually take this pass. This is not a capturable pass from this direction. So. I think we are Imperium, yeah. I'm just following the markers, man. Doing my job. But but you can see these guys in the, the enemies, the white dots... We are, or I guess yellow, orange, depending on what you see there, and blue. And I mean, they stepped out of their pass. Orange moved in to intercept. We cut off the reinforcement lane and it was over. I mean, just like that, man. Hey, Rachel, cheers. Hope you're doing well. You just transferred 150 mil. Why can't you transfer? A lot of people are getting banned for transferring right now. Or they're not getting banned. That's not fair. They're getting their resources taken away for inspection or review. It's just weird. Honestly, like these guys are, they, they're just too outnumbered, man. It's not a knock against them. Like the ones they have are good. They're just completely outnumbered. Alter is 18 minutes. You just transferred 1.5 billion from your farm. Did it get clawed back yet? 
Why does everyone use Germany for the training speed action point recovery? That's why. I'm fighting your allies in KVK? Oh boy. I mean, this kingdom is a really tough kingdom to fight. We, we are a very tough kingdom to get matched up against. You received about 250 million resources and plundered close to 60 million before. And now you're negative in wooden food? That's awful. That's so awful. Eight forty six matchmaking is insane, is it? This beat is dope. Glad you like it. Happy to catch the stream. Hey, cheers, welcome. I don't like Byzantium. You, you just get hospital capacity, it's just not enough. Five five one one Alexander. It's a starting point. You're gonna want to max it though. Ketrix, how's it going? Viking berserkers are very good. You're fairly new to rock, focusing on infantry. Well, hopefully the new infantry commanders that come out in a couple months from now will be really, really good. You should absolutely focus and max Alexander the Great, 100%. I mean, the two commanders at the start of the game are Esong and Alexander the Great, and like, if you just did those two, you're in good shape. Uh, TR versus Song was crazy. TR would have won if we got the provisions home faster. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, provision speed would have mattered. There really were not more provisions to return home. All big players are playing KVK. Good time for banning them. Because they need to buy bundles. Oh my god. Tiskel, in your 254, what's your five marches that I'm going to run? And what will be your six and seven? I'm probably going to make a video about this. Um, In fact... God, I have so many videos I have to make. Man, I have so many videos I have to make. Um... I don't know when I'm going to be able to get all these videos in, man. It's crazy. I don't know. I got to think it through. I had a whole content schedule figured out for the whole week. And then, like, it just got completely blown up with all the scammer stuff, you know? I mean, people really want to hear about it. And the more I made videos about it, the more people started sending me, man. My impression is that there's probably just a small number of kingdoms that have used it pretty heavily. Rather than it being like a everywhere thing. Like, I think it's actually... Like a very concentrated problem in a, in a small number of kingdoms. That's my impression. Again, I, I I don't work at Lilith. I don't have the information, actually, to tell you authoritatively. Really? That guy stopped walking the second I turn around? I mean, these guys can't leave their pass. Like, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, they can't leave their pass because we can farm them at it. And also, they can't leave their pass because we pinch them. So, I don't know what they're going to do. This is just savage, man. It might actually be difficult to hit the kill targets, this KVK. I don't know what Kingsland's gonna be like 
It's very hard to say. I have not at all been paying attention to all the other stuff going on. Oh, wow. Minamoto? Really? Oh, man. The problem here is that I'm not able to skill cycle. And because I can't skill cycle and because I don't have instant proc damage... I'm not even doing all that much damage right now. And because they're not attacking me and I do a lot of counterattack... Like, it's just... I'm not accomplishing very much. Oh, somebody's attacking me. And I am counterattacking. Okay. Oh! Okay, I'm getting them on the other side of the pass. And the best part is that it's a Richard the First just letting me wail in. I'm just going to let this happen. 100% just going to let this happen. That's got to be good for me, right? Last, uh, last KVK, I do not think Drago hit his 30 mil kill goal. No. Oh my god, this has to be good for me. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, this is the promised land. Oh my god. The actual promised land of kill points right here. Just farm them up. Do you see this? Do you see this? Richard the First has delivered the actual promised land. I'm AoEing into their starting zone. Wow, that was profit. Just straight profit. It's like, I. what else do you say about what just happened? Can't wait to see that report. I guess you could say that. I mean, I'm going to have to refresh my troop. Yeah, I'm just going to refresh it, man. What else do, you, do I need from this evening? Like, nailed it. There's my quota. When's the next recharge? I don't know. I can't believe there's no Valentine's events. It's really weird. When was the last time we had no Valentine's events in Rise of Kingdoms, man? It's crazy. 9,700 to 12,749. He is using a Max, Richard, and Esong. And I was using Charles, Unmaxed, and Sun Tzu. So I feel like I did pretty good there. But the best part is this AoE. 300 to 2,700. 1,200 positive. 2,700 positive. 1,000 positive. 1,100 positive, 1,100 positive, 700 positive, 1,000 positive. I killed 2,700 of their troops with Ethel and Queen Tamar of Georgia. Don't use that combo. And then 1,800 sevs. I mean, that was, that's the promised land. Considering the march I was using, that, that was the promised land right there. Walk it home, buddy. You did good. You, get, you did good, Martel. Bro, <laughs> Word Daddy Chad, what's up, man? Bro, freaking ski. Sun Tzu for the win. Looks like so much fun. Nevsky on the wheel again, and then a third time on Cav MG. Everybody's. Man, I I kind of needed Nevsky for League, so I don't actually regret maxing Nevsky, and I'm gonna use him in fighting, so I don't actually regret maxing Nevsky, but also. When Cav MGE shows up, I got nothing to spend. I guess I could just save some gems. That's not the worst, is it? Martell is not back, everybody. Martell is... He is not back, okay? It just worked out in my favor there. So... Martell, Sun Tzu, good for your first couple KVKs. Yeah. Um, Sorry if you already answered this, but what happened with the TR Osiris match? I mean, we were, at the end of the day, outplayed. Um, the team is incredibly strong. I, I'm really appreciative to have been a part of the TR ARC team and to have been added in. I mean, they're, they're hands down the best ARC team I've ever played with. And, um... I mean, I think... I think if we played them two out of three, we could maybe adjust a little bit to to the plan we brought and i think win the next two but that's not how it works they beat us and they beat us uh by a thousand points man it was really close it was a good game it was a good game
was I playing in the TROL team? This is a this is like tragic and honestly kind of embarrassing. Um So in the morning before, I I wake up kind of early, right? I got a cast arc at 13 UTC. And I didn't realize that Wolf had an arc match at 14 UTC. Do you see where this is going? So the problem is that when I went to go join TR for the Arc League match, I was locked out of leaving Wolf because Wolf was in an Arc match. And then when the Arc League match started for TR, TR locked and I couldn't join TR. So I actually didn't get to play that match. But thankfully, because TR has a deep roster of subs, there was someone who basically was the backup for my role who was in art yeah very tragic the person who was the backup for my role uh had been in arc practices and like had played the role so they just stepped in but it was very frustrating so i took their spot as the spotter for the match and they took my spot actually playing again very frustrating but also although it was a very close match like, they played it extremely well. And the, like, there's honestly not really anything that would have changed if I was there, if that makes sense. Like, it's weird to say, but, like, I, I was not the difference maker in that match, even though it was a very close game. Like, like one player is not the difference maker. Yeah, no, it was very frustrating that I did not get to play the match. That was very, very frustrating. However, also, like, if you've never just taken a match to spectate for your own team, it's really insightful, man. Like, it's very interesting and different. I'm not talking about um, watching footage of your team. I'm talking about being the person who's calling out what's happening it is very educational like i really learned a lot watching the team play more than i have ever learned in watching footage yeah it increases your knowledge and understanding of the situation right when you have no obligation with your marches and you're literally just sitting there and can look wherever you want and see what's happening and call out what's coming next. Like it it changes the way you think about the the map entirely, actually. It was it was pretty insightful, but still really painful that I didn't get to play. Would only be a difference maker if you could help TR out farm song. So I am not one of the provisioners, in case that wasn't clear. You know, you know, having me provision with my three procs legendary sets feels fairly tragic, don't you think? Yeah, I think this this push for the altar is... I think they're going to contest it? Or I guess it's the uh, altar of darkness. That's interesting. SK gets the altar. Okay. Um, I guess we're sharing that. Rep 3% training speed. Rep. Should I save up my season coins to buy the Cav City skin in Season of Conquest or buy an accessory? It depends on your flow of materials, Chase. So, I tend to think that the accessories are really top tier. And if you don't have any of them, they are really, really, really good. But if you also don't have a legendary city theme and you don't have enough materials to be making accessories anyways, or you have lots of other things that you could be making, then um, I would consider doing uh, the other things and then get the city theme. Particularly if you have lots of cav marches. If you don't have lots of cav marches, then like I don't think it, there's a lot of value to that over the accessories. Especially if you want to rally your garrison. Like Those accessories matter a lot. Hey Justin, thank you for the super. I appreciate it, man. YSS must be expertise. Uh, I don't know if I would necessarily say that. Like, only if you want to be a garrison captain. 
Okay, we're gonna full on Gandalf this pass over here. They shall not pass. They shall not pass at the pass. Justin, how's your evening going, man? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't think this guy's going to get very far. Oh boy. I have 393,000 gems in KVK1 at 22 million power. Okay. Very interesting. Should I get Esong if I have Martel Richard maxed? You should definitely do Esong, 100%, no questions asked. I think I can catch this guy. Oh, got him for a second, rep. Poppy, turn around! Poppy! Oh, man. Right past him, rep. Whatever, there's nothing he can actually do. So, let's go back over here. You should max Esong, and when Alexander the Great becomes available, you should max that next. Whoa, where's this guy going, bro? We're just, we're just letting him go. You mainly fight open field with cav marches. Five stream fairy, thank you for the tea. He's just grooving to the music right now, dancing behind the camera. I have dagger, horn, and 5% uh, skill damage. Okay. I like dagger and horn. I somewhat regret the 5% skill damage accessory. I gave someone 75 million gold to help heal their ruins, and now you're under review as being a resource seller? Justin, you're under review for being a resource seller? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's insane. You basically can't transfer resources right now, which is very frustrating, I find. Salty Cornflakes, you're going for a uh, web, this KVK? I think that's a good choice. I really think, like, putting a web and a dagger in your murder balls is just really, really strong. Oh man, this is just brutal. I think they can wear us down here, which is smart, but I just don't know what, what happens next. I think that their refresh time is so short and their ability to control departure from the fight is really powerful for them. But again, I just don't know what happens next. I'm 3x surrounded. Okay, well, I have a friend apparently. Fairly awkward. I'm still e-songing into their starting area, so... I don't feel too bad. Like, right now, I'm about to hit five. Easy. I'm just racking in, or raking in those AoE kills, racking them up. I do think I need to leave soon, because this is about to go sideways in this area. The problem with sitting on top of their pass is that we do ultimately get kind of worn down. Very interested for that report, for sure. 
Oh man, Richard Apple, okay. I think I need to get out of here, man. Am I getting hit? People hit me on the walk out of there? Get a little free value on the way. Instant proc 6,000. AoE 3,000. Let's go. Walk it home, buddy. Walk it home. Time to get a little refresh. Song versus JST. I, with no disrespect to, to Song, I think it's a, kind of like... I think that's JST's match, quite frankly. Unless they lost some players or stopped practicing. Like, JST is just next level, man. I mean, everybody was pretty frustrated that we lost the match, obviously. We put a lot of effort into it, so it's a bummer. What accessory should I put on my Salad and William? Um, I like Horn and Ring. Let's get some of these reports. That must have been nasty up there, man. What happened here? A little bit negative on that one Alex uh, Ethel. Alex Ethel's an interesting choice. 500 to 1,500. 1,200 to 3,000. So, I mean, the net, the net exchange is quite good. Here's 4,000 to 4,000 roughly. 3,000 to 8,000 is fine. This one's even. A little positive. 6,000 to 12,700. And those are T5s on both sides. That was the march that I latched onto. Here's 500 to 7,000. I mean, you see, this is... 4,000 to 10,000. Granted, I had T5, they had T4s. But I kind of don't care, man. I just want to rack up the kills and get my credit for quests, right? Do you have an idea for a purple starter gear set for a calf march? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cav set? Starter gear? Easy, man. Easy. Here's your calf starter gear. Uh, you're looking for epic, though, you said. So you, you obviously get the Abyssal Visage for the helmet. You get the Dark Lord's Blessing. You get the Isset's Sufferance. The uh, Gladiator Pants. And the Cloud Racers. For weapon, I really like the Heart of the Saint a lot. Your starting point is obviously the Vanguard's Halberd. But the problem with using the two-piece set with the Vanguard Halberd is that these legs are just too good. So you're going to want to move into those pretty fast. Um, and your starting point for upgrades might ideally actually be the helmet, believe it or not, to get out of attack stat and into defense. But I also really like the play of just doing boots and then chest piece to legendary set, 100%. Because it's health on both those pieces and a health set bonus is like really really good we have well we okay, we have it but i can't get in yet now i can get in there we go oh i mean pride of the con is amazing yeah, I was referring more to the set helmet. I also think maybe, 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 maybe. If you're only going for two pieces of the legendary set anyways, you're probably better off going boots and chest. 
for the health on both of those. Also, because moving out of your boots gets you out of attack stat and into health, right? So I like that. Cav are just so punchy already. You just want as much tankiness as possible. Right? Like, you look at all those commanders. Like, XY has no defensive capability. You just... To, to balance them out, you need to give them defensive capability. Yeah, the epic helmet gives attack. I mean, you could start with the blue helmet. Right? That's a fine starting point. Because it's got defense. So that's a fine starting point. Yeah, it's going on my salad and William. I, I ran that with a very tanky set of gear, and it was very, very good. Hey, one and only EQ. Good to see you. Happy Valentine's. Alex is great. Yeah, you might wait for him. This is called Darling Midnight, the name of this song. I have Saladin 5551 for now. Okay, good. Paired with the Max E song, I'm going to improve my Cav March. Go William or Nevsky? Probably Nevsky is the more important everyone must get at March, you know? Should I spin for Nevsky or YSS? I would say, unless you're the garrison captain, Nevsky, 100%. Am I going back with this kingdom? Hey, uh, Salty Cornflakes, thank you for being a member for seven months. I don't think we're migrating anywhere. I think we just forged forward. Did you see that 916 is in the same KVK again with 846? Oh god, I didn't know that. It didn't even occur to me. Wow. 2000 and 916 together. That's very interesting. 846 is fire. 1671 and 2001 is earth. And 1093 are water. Wow. Very interesting KVK. Just be honest. Do you think the gear crit system is fair? I think the old system is is better than the current system. I much prefer the old system. I wish they'd stuck with the old system, but just given it some visuals so that we could track our prog our progress. Really, Savage Snad Gaming. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Can't wait for the past open. Going to be a blast to watch. I think there will be. A bundle? Oh, there's going to be bundles, man. 100%. There will be crystal bundles, and as soon as the fighting wraps up here, we'll switch over to my main, we'll spin the Wheel of Fortune, and also buy a bunch of crystal bundles. So, yeah, that's happening. It's interesting this guy really wants to go for me here. Because I have way more health than he does. Plus I have friends helping me. Word Addy Chad, thank you for the super chat. If I have the Zenith 8% defense skin, that's a very good skin. Looking at Cav gear, do I go 4 piece hellish? Heart is the weapon and ash pants, everything crit. Or go for Navars and only three piece set. No, you should definitely go four piece set, 100%. You should go four piece set bonus there. Um, actually. I would, I mean, the best set is going to be a two-piece bonus. And then, just like I have on my main, you go for Navars, and you go for, like, the KVK helmet and KVK weapon. But I think the counterattack's pretty good. And the attack stats are actually pretty good too if you have a crit weapon. 
If your weapon's not crit, it's maybe a different story, but a, a, a crit hellish lance is pretty good, man. Isn't that like 26% of stats compared to the 17% that you would get if you did Heart of the Saint? Yes, right? I don't think that the city skin that you have really changes my opinion of what you should go for. But I do think that... Okay, so because you do... Actually, I, I mean, if anything, it makes me slightly more confident. Since you have minus cav attack anyways, that getting more cav attack is not bad. I'm gonna go follow the markers. I want to skirmish over there, but I also really want to follow the marker. Okay, so what that would put you at is set pants, set chest, set weapon. Wait. Sorry, hold on. Multitasking. Okay, do over. Set chest, set boots, set weapon, and set gloves. Did you say gloves? Heart is weapon and ash is pants. Hang tight. I need to move. Yeah, you have ash pants. Set yeah, set helmet actually. You definitely want to use that until you get the KVK helmet. Navar, only three piece set. So if you were doing four pieces, the four pieces I would do in a perfect world would be Weapon, helmet, chest, and boots. Hey, RW, thank you for the super. So that would get... At, in a perfect world, you actually could then do Navars and you could do Ash. That's how I would do that. Micro optimizing too much, I think. I'm just thinking with the defense skin. Basically trade the hellish defense and the 3% counter for the health of Navar. I would keep the counterattack personally. I think counterattack is really good on calves, actually. That guy's just gone if he doesn't turn around in a second. He did. Yeah, I would definitely upgrade your Heart of the Saint to the rifle, especially because you have it procced. So I would say 100% on that. VIP 16 is one and a half million <laughs> gems. Or VIP points. Isn't it like one and a half million VIP to go from 17 to 18? Is that right? I think it is. I gotta be careful. This march that I'm using is not really a predator march. Are you sure? From VIP 17 to 18, is it 2 million? Daddy Chad, thank you again for the super chats. Also, RW, I appreciate it. Can 
Can I see? Oh, I can't see how much VIP it is. It's one and a half million. Hey, Sagan, how's it going? Is it Sagan? Sedgen? Maybe? Is 12 and a half million power good for 140 days? That sounds fine. The key for the early game is that you're farming up lots of resources. You're going to need them. Hank White says I'm confused. What are you confused about? So this is an altar of, of uh, darkness fight. You can only have one march at a time in the altar of darkness. And also, I am going exactly where I'm supposed to be. See this marker? Nobody's supposed to be here. Wherever the marker is, is where he's supposed to go. If the person leading the group wanted us to be here, they'd put the marker there, but they didn't. So you can only have one march, and this marker is the indicator of where we're supposed to be. So again, if the marker's here, nobody should be here. And if everybody was following the marker, we would be, I think, stronger as a unit, although we're already pretty darn strong. Do you know that Crystal Keys give blueprints, not fragments? Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Crystal keys are pretty solid. You're approaching T5. You've been a big fan since day one, and the videos are really helpful. Glad to hear it. Cheers. Thank you. BHD, I appreciate it. Oh, wait. It was Lloyd that said that. Lloyd. Man. Nighttime streaming. BHD says, just, you know, that crystal keys... Okay, that's what... That was... PhD and Lloyd said big fan. Appreciate that, Lloyd. I don't have a Saladin on this account. And yes, Martel's very slow. It's so slow. At this point, our objective... Yeah, see, he even put a marker to get off of there. So, the the marker is very intentional for where we're supposed to be. And my Martel's not even maxed, so it's not like I have Martel's march speed. Oh, God. Taking shot every barb for while watching your stream. Yikes. That could add up fast, man. I do five barb forts at a time. I think fighting in zone five will be wrapped up within a couple days against five, five, six. I guess we'll see. And then I don't know what's gonna happen on the other side. This song is called Dreams. When I see you in the morning, will you still want to be true? I can't dream. I can't dream. Do I have any input on the legitimate players getting RSS donations and looting blocked? 
Now I think it's awful. I think it's it's really frustrating. I don't know how a system passed their QA that so aggressively is hurting a player experience. Specifically innocent player experience. So, like, that really sucks. I hope that they're working actively to address it. And, and I really hope that they deliver some sort of message about what they're doing soon. Because I find that silence is really deafening, if you understand what I'm saying there. Thank goodness you've saved your RSS tokens. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that position's bad. Back it up, cheesy pants. That's much better. If you run out of the resources mid KVK, it's basically GG. Yeah, pretty much. Corn Dog says I would for sure quit if they don't address legit players losing resources soon. Yeah, th I mean, they're gonna they're gonna have to make a proper statement quite soon. I would feel. Otherwise, like people are gonna get really, really frustrated. What do you think will be the future of resource transfers? I, I think that if the developers want to combat resource selling, they need to reduce the importance of resources and make speed ups the more important thing because you can't farm speed ups. Not really. You get AoE barb farm, farm, but you can't like, it's not the same. Like you can't gift them to somebody else, you know? What would resources be used for? I'm not saying you remove the need for resources entirely. I'm saying you diminish their importance to the point that it's not something that people need to buy from other players to have enough. My position here is pretty bad, but I think I can ride this guy to safety, which is happening. It worked out okay, thankfully. Back it up a little bit, swing in on this guy. Reduce hospital bills and boom, problem solved. Kind of, yeah. I just make it more about the speed ups. I, I think that they should be designing their way out of this situation, not punishing their way out of this situation. Do you see what I mean?
Hey, weapon, what's up? Just remove the resource cost entirely from healing troops. It's an interesting idea. That would definitely solve the problem right away. People would at that point have more than enough resources. Although at that point, I think from Lilith's perspective, they like... They were getting some people to buy resources before, and then I don't know. Is anybody? Like from Lilith. I don't know. But even if they just cut the healing costs substantially, like that would be cool too. Alright, I think I should refresh this march. If they don't allow resource transfer in some form, they run the risk of killing the game. I, I mean, I think if they punish... If innocent players get punished, I think that is the most risky thing for the health of the game. Because, like, no nothing is more goodwill shredding than being innocent and being told you're guilty. Which is why I find it so shocking that that's, like, the world we're in right now. The whole point of this game is to fight for days on end, not fight for two hours and get a four-day hospital bill. I mean, is that is that all the hospital bill you rack up in two hours? I get a lot more hospital bill than that. Granted, that is what you would get from an altar fight or a ruins fight. Have I seen the new ways to bet on Osiris League? Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. When did they add that? Did this just happen? When, how long has that been there? That's pretty cool. It was added just this weekend. So the arc score leader, the occupation score leader, total kills leader, and the provisions leader. Successful bats return 2x, 4x. You can only place a single bet per tournament round on this. Unsuccessful bets will not return any Oryx. Ugh. I don't know, man. That's kind of rough. There are things that are probably really safe bets, though. Like, you could bet on 61HX being the arc score leader and bet all... Like, I mean, you'd want to pick an alliance you really trust that's going to have a dominant matchup, but you just put all your orcs on them, getting the thing you think they're going to get. Like, this BG1v match... It, it would... I don't know. What, what would I... What would I put a sub bet on this? I'm not actually sure. Maybe total kills leader? You would expect that to be 1v. That feels like a really safe way to double your oryx. Yeah, it's double or nothing, I guess. Hope I can get through this pass. Nevsky should be good with William. That's that's a pair I'm going to personally use. I wouldn't say that song provisioning is a safe bet. Should I go full 
have epic gear. Or craft three legendaries. Navarre's hellish chest and boots. Hmm. I mean, I think if you're going to craft three legendaries, I don't think Navarre's would be one of the ones I would recommend to you. I think I generally feel like starting with an epic set is a good way to go. You could get away with a blue defense helmet, I guess. It has to be proc'd, obviously. But, like... I think you need the epic set as a starting point. Yeah, anyone can ask a question. I look when I can, I mean, I... Like, now's a good time for me to look at questions. When I'm walking. But then when I'm fighting, it's very difficult for me to answer questions. This is going to be open for another hour and a half. Cyrus or Gilgamesh for open field? I think I would prefer Cyrus, honestly. I mean, Kingdom 2293. I did already talk about the song matchup this weekend. They're a strong team. What are the two legendary infantry set pieces I should get? Depending on how you want to split. Either helmet gloves or boots gloves. If you plan on going for the KVK helmet, then boots gloves is the way to go. If you're not going to go for the KVK helmet, then um, helmet gloves is the way to go. And then you can use Shio's return for your boots. What a long walk. Salad and William, Ram, Song, Guan, Alex. Very safe choices. Wouldn't change a thing about that. If those are the commanders you have, wouldn't change a thing. Is it worth investing in Pakal rallies? Uh, I mean, I would just wait a couple days and then we'll know for sure. I wouldn't think it is going to be safe because it's still a good tank rally. But we'll know for sure in a couple days. New infantry commanders better be OP. I hope they are too. I can't look at power and kills at this exact moment. Now I've got a battle. Back up too far. There we go. That march speed coming in handy there. AoE damage flying in. I can see that I'm taking that. I'm also dishing out a lot of AoE damage, especially right now. Oh, I'm I'm taking big Edward damage right now. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. That is a decked out Edward of Woodstock just completely laying into me there. I'll bait him as far back as he wants to go. Oh, I don't know why none of my team collapsed on him there. A little disappointing. 
There, there was no punish, and all they had to do was punish him. But okay, I'll go home now. He just got that for so free. He was like freaking Moses parting the waters there. Everybody just let him walk through. Why is Trajan so so thick? Trajan's great, man. Would you recommend Horn and Ring for infantry? Yep. Pretty much. Horn and Ring are just amazing. I sub, love you guys. Hey, cheers, Wyatt. Thank you. If you are enjoying the live stream, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. Thoughts on what the new infantry commanders could be? You think Alex will get sidelined? No. I don't think Alex is likely to get sidelined. Like, if you have an Alex, unless you have all the other commanders too, you could use him. He's good. And will be for quite some time. Salad and William? Or Salad and Nevsky? Both are good. You have five marches? I would say... To stick probably with your... Uh, Salad and William? Well, even Salad and Nevsky benefits from swarming. I don't know. They're just both so good. If you're picking what to invest in, though, I would say Salad and Nevsky is a better starting point. If you already have William, I mean, you're probably working on Nevsky anyways. I guess I'm steering you toward Nevsky, huh? You just unlocked Honda and Nevsky. You'll do Nevsky first. I think that's a good choice. Justin, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Salad and primary, Nevsky secondary is the way I'd run that. That's interesting. They got a march over here. Best accessories for Zeno. It kind of depends on what's happening. I, I think that in most cases, I would say Horn and Ring is the way to go. In an Ark of Osiris Garrison situation, it's a little bit of a different story. I definitely like Coin for that. I like Coin Ring. Other people would say probably Ring and Book. The Vengeance. All right, I'm almost through the pass. I suppose while I wait, my free Edward of Woodstock spin and my 50% spin research speeds. GG. Okay. Sure. Almost through. Best five marches that do not need to be expertise for free to play. Okay, uh, Guan Leo, Saladin William, Ramses and E Song, although you should max E Song either way. And maybe you just start with three marches. What would your other two marches be? That's a fair ask. You gotta get Nevsky in there somewhere. Maybe it's Nevsky, William, Salad, and Ethel? Or Salad and Joan? Alliance kills and power. Okay. Fair to ask. Uh, I am in SIP. We are number one currently for power. And for kills, we are number two. We gotta watch my march here. We good? We're good. What's the best accessory for Nevsky? I mean, I just generally like Horn and Rang. So hard to argue with that. For Arc, do you use uh, do I use Xeno YSS? 
Do you should you use the you know, YSS? I think it's okay. Any more crazy bets from Cortex? Since his eyebrows and hair? No, no other bets. XY William, Nevsky Minna. That's a good combo. Salad and Ethel, Guan Alex, and Nebi Song. Um No, it's pretty good. Wouldn't change it. You're good to go. I think that your XY William is going to get really focused. So you're going to have to be very careful with that. You're running Saladin, Nevsky, and XY William. Who would you then pair Chandra with? I would consider going XY Chandra and Nevsky William if you wanted two marches. But if you wanted three marches with calves, you probably bring in Minamoto Relict. He's really good, actually. Like the top tier Canyon teams are using off lane with Nevsky and Minamoto Relic. Sounds crazy, but it's good. So, I think what you would do if you wanted three Cav marches would be XY with Chandra Gupta. Saladin, William, and Nevsky, Minamoto. That would be the play. Nevsky is overhyped? I do not think so. I have not found that to be the case. I think he's... I feel like he's exactly hyped. He's like exactly as good as I thought he would be. I guess we'll see what the reports look like in open field, but like, he's a single target damage commander that's actually good in Canyon. That's unusual. Someone did a diss video about me. I think that very likely violates YouTube community standards. So that's an interesting choice that they've made. I haven't seen it though. Sarka Dragon Lancer. A tale older than time. Sarka and Dragon Lancer. Oh, that's awkward timing for verification. I'm going to back up. I just, I'm going to back up. I'm going to verify and I'll revisit fighting in just a second. I got somebody working on me though. Okay. Okay. I'm going to risk it. Slightly risking it. worked out. Run tell Mel. Hey, cheers. How's it going? Thank you for being a member of the Honor Guard for seven months. Hey, just Goulians. I'm doing well, man. Pull back a bit, let them come out. Okay, I'm gonna pull back to here. Get a fresh march. Bring it closer to the pass. say Nevsky Mina offlane is Canyon defense meta? Yup. Yup. 
The relatively new kingdom. Do commander pairings matter? Yes. You can still get a lot of advantage. Oh man, Drago going up against gate 46 again. That is just really wild. I think getting paired with Kingdom 2000 is also very interesting. Hey, Tyler, thank you for subscribing. Also, Henry K, cheers. If you're enjoying the stream, consider throwing a like on here and subscribing. Do you think the new infantry will counter Nevsky? I kind of hope so. <laughs> like, I dislike when they release a counter really close to when they launch a commander, but like also... I'll just say this, the new infantry had better be very good. We don't know for sure that it's going to be infantry, but commanders are generally on a rotation of leadership, cavalry, infantry, then archer, then repeat the cycle from the top. Hey, Pat, cheers. Thank you for being a member of the Elite Guard for 10 months. Um, hey, just how's the fam doing? Hope all is well. College has been super busy. Finally able to catch up on a stream. Let's win this KVK. Hey, cheers. Let's get this bread, man. Raz, what's up, dude? Bro, you looking to chill? You looking to chill? Can't even find the recording channel. Oh, that's because you renamed it to Valentine's Gate. GG. Okay. He's always oh, on the train. Okay. Okay. Renamed the recording channel to the Valentine's Date channel. And there, there, there is a date going on in there. And by date, I mean two people are talking. It's probably not actually a date. But if I dropped in on their date during the live stream, would that be weird? Yes, it would be weird. I think they're just memeing. Ruz on a train. Yeah, Ruz, you gotta make a music video. I'm on a train. By date, he means date. As in, like, day of the week, or... He on a date. Like, winky emoji. Smiley emoji. Abracadabra, welcome to the honor guard, man. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Abracadabra, newest member of the channel, and a searching emoji so you becomes the next member of the channel. Let's freaking go. Rez has flippity floppities. I feel like you're implying he's a bunny, but I think bunny is bunny. And Rez is a kangaroo? Hog? Hi. Winky emoji. Oh my god. What are we doing here, man? I just want to go and get my other march, quite frankly. Just go get my Alex E song. What's a Ruz, anyways? I mean, what's a chess school? Uh. Cortex is on a date, but I'm here because hashtag Chiss stream more important. Well, I mean, are you implying you would go in third wheel on the date right now? You're kind of implying you would go third wheel on that date, my guy. Which I don't think you mean to imply. I do it for the viewers. That's why you guys gotta vote me. It's true that Ruz is very much a man of the people. He's a man of the people.
I'm getting into trouble here. I should not stay. It's too tempting. I'm out. That's a much safer hit. I don't have any march speed. I can't take fights like that. I literally can't get away. I'm tanky. Like, this march deters you from hitting it, but can't get away if you do. So, like, you'll hit other things over me. But if I'm the only one on the front like I just was, you're still going to surround me like they just did. Yeah, 3x surrounded. And I can't even tell from where. That's the worst part. I think this guy somehow attacking me from downtown. Okay. The long arm of the law. Jeez. Guess that's where the, that expression comes from. The long arm of the law. Like, did you know they added ranged attacking to Rise of Kingdoms? <laughs> just just playing around. Am I playing around? I definitely respect the fighting spirit here. I mean, these guys could have easily just packed it in and been like, what's the point? Chisk will never lose. I definitely have my share of losses. I mean, I talked about that in my video today, actually. Oh, they got a barb. I wonder if they're trying to lose to that barb. Did you know I'm going to quit the game if they add ranged attacks? Uh-oh. What are we going to play, Russ? What, what are you going to go play if they add ranged attacks? I'm playing on an iPad right now. It's an iPad Pro, actually. What's the point of this attack? Oh, glad you asked. We're holding off the force of the enemy. So that another alliance from our kingdom owns the Altar of Darkness. So our kingdom is winning overall. League? Oh god. Minecraft? GG. Oh man, I thought I just missed an alert to send a march to ruins on the main account and I was freaking out but no that's later tonight I almost want to set an alarm like before bed you know go play Lost Ark I am kind of tempted not gonna lie I've been playing this game for three years I personally would not quit if ranged attacks were added. I think they could be really cool. But they also need to make sure that they don't kind of ruin the fun of how open field works today, you know? Yeah, they're going to do a lot of testing, I hope, before they add ranged attacks. I mean, the interview with the developers actually gave me a lot of hope for the game. For its future direction. I'm done. Oh, I'm so dead. That was, that was bad. And once again, good, that Edward's getting punished. All right. That Edward Esong is tunneling me, but he's getting punished. He's going to pop, actually. Yeah, mistakes made. GG. My trade may not look the best, but his trade's definitely going to look awful. You've been playing for 262 days? I mean, this is just my restart. My restart's 866 days. <laughs> and my main account's like, I don't know, 1,200, 1,300? Yeah, maybe they'll give Siege more of a use. Like, Siege was a feared unit in actual medieval fight. Why are we helping this alliance? It's the same kingdom, bro. We're all in the same kingdom. 
Like, yeah, of course we'd help Battle Alliance. You gotta help same kingdom. It's all about kingdom, man. Also, it's all about getting this rune refreshed. Oh, is the rune gone now? Is it just not loading? Son of a gun. Should have refreshed on my rune sooner. GG. How long do I have on it? 10 minutes. GG. We have all these runes. Well, possibility for runes, though. Okay, there's another one. You know, all the way on the other side of the world. But let's freaking go. Oh, 10 minutes away. Perfect timing. Let's go. Couldn't be easier. But <laughs> nice. Yeah, we'll see what they ultimately do with this, man. I, I don't know. It could be very good. What if they have Cav Commanders with a shield? Who knows? Oh, I love this song. This song is the jam right here. Oh my god, why am I getting tagged so much in Discord? What the hell? Roz? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was asked the question of what, what rallies can I do and what garrisons can I do? Like, pretty much all of them. We need some uh, Valentine's music. You know? You're not wrong. What's your opinion on double C? I'm close to maxing him out as your first legendary. So you're definitely um, going to get a lot of value for rallying Barb Fort. So I hope you like doing that. I think that with the relic that he has added to the game, he'll have a lot more viability for you for longer. But I would definitely try to focus on Esong or Alexander the Great. Will the horseman join voice? No, I don't think so. Ruz is on a date. He's busy. He be dating. He be voice dating. Just I got 5353 five, Guan and Expertise Galax. Should, should, should I go for Guan Expertise or do Leo? 5353 five, three, Guan is pretty good. You might just stop there. I don't think you need to max Leo though. I mean, you have Guan Alex. I would finish Guan. Guan is one of the best commanders in the game for open field. Just finish him. I, I think that would be a fine choice. I don't think that going for Leo is a great pick unless you're trying to add another march and you need to free up your Alex to go somewhere else. That would be the only reason I would say you should do Leo is if you really want the Alex for some other uh, Alex march. I don't know what it would be. Yeah, Max Sun Tzu is good. I'm using him right now. I wouldn't use him on my main account, but I would have used him for a while on my main account though, actually. Your Guan is 5132. You feel like you've gotten pretty lucky so far. Cheers. That is definitely very lucky. What time? Dude, I have another fight tomorrow morning. It's freaking crazy around here. 20 hours. Oh, that's not tomorrow morning. That's good. I got too much of this stuff going on. I got too much of this stuff going on. Max Nevsky Mina or XY five five one one with a Max Nevsky. I think you go Nevsky Mina, honestly. I think Relic Mina is really good. I would try it and see how you like it. 
No gathering commanders in the museum. Honestly, I would rather like a gathering commander in a heartbeat. For extra gathering speed and stuff, 100%. No questions asked. What kingdom do I recommend? Oh, that's a tough question. If you're looking for a kingdom, consider joining my Discord, discord.gg slash chiskool. Link's also in the description. XY gets focused too hard. I agree. Keep in mind that I'm bringing only one Cav March in my main murder ball on my main account. I've got access to a lot of commanders here. And that one March is not going to include XY. It's going to be Nevsky primary, William secondary. Just checked Rise of Kingdoms on the Mac App Store. Works really well. No need for blue stacks if you have an M1 Mac. Hmm. Yeah, I would believe that. If Apple wanted to give me an M1 Mac so I could play and talk about how well it runs on that device, <laughs> oh, I would gladly consider it. Actually, kind of an interesting idea. Stream from it. I mean, I stream from an iPad. It's basically like my second computer. But I don't know. It could have more horsepower than an iPad Pro. Like, that could be pretty good, actually. Not that I really need more horsepower. Like, this runs pretty much flawlessly. Is 25% more health a strong buff? Yes. Very strong. Dude, Mehmed got 20% health, 5% skill damage, and suddenly he's very viable. It's really weird. Oh, you need a mouse. Yeah, uh, okay. So, I don't know if I want to play Rise of Kingdoms with a mouse, though. That's That might be where I draw the line. Maybe I would uh, maybe I would find I like mouse and keyboard more. I just don't know, man. Everybody's ignoring the marker now, so that's interesting. Oh, instant proc for 10k. Let's go. about to swarm me. Yep, surrounded. Could get interesting. Don't know that I like this. I think my team is in a lot of trouble. They, they're not helping me, and I don't think they can. I gotta back up. That's not a good trade for me, probably. Not really sure what just happened there. Hopefully I can salvage this rage bar. Don't think I can. No, just run it home. How did that trade go, actually? Let's find out. 620 to 4,000 is off to a good start. 300 to 1,600 is good. 700, okay, this is fine so far. 2,000. 0 to 4,000 is good. 0 to 500, 0 to 1,000. Here's negative. Pretty negative, actually. He's using T4. So 5,200 to 4,600. And here's positive. 500 to 2,500. Okay. 4,600 to 5,400 is fine. This is a little negative, but not by much. 7,000 to 6,000. I mean, overall, it was a good, good run in there, I would say. Uh, that was fine. That was good. Jad Nevsky, I have not personally tried that for Garrison. 
They need to give Khan a relic. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. How many kills am I up to? Honestly, I don't know why this feels like just not many kills today. But this just doesn't feel like much killing going on today. Um, Grand total kills. 3.8. It's, it's honestly kind of slow going. They're going for a little ambush here. Kind of interesting. And he's running. Yeah. Okay. Imagine if the enemy kingdom you're fighting has refund cheaters. Yeah. How's my hospital? Uh, fine. I think Chad and my alliance is talking about how <laughs> they're a little behind on my kills. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not even doing that much, it feels like, man. Like, honestly. Feels like 10 minutes of walking for three minutes of battling. Not in love with it. All of them are banned and frozen, says Fish. There you go. I think what I want to do is position by the pass and spin the wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and Kingdom 2, Desert KVK is opening really soon. Oh, I'm not in any alliance. They kicked me out. Hope they didn't loot me. But if they did, the joke's on them. They're all going to get banned. Nope, they didn't loot me. Uh, before I train, I should join an alliance. Who will take me in? I guess this alliance is full-ish. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Look like a farm alliance of 5.4. No? I don't know. I'll just apply. I've been offline for more than four days, so it kind of makes sense that they kicked me. Oh, they just kicked me four hours ago. Okay. Understandable. Um, Let's see here. Nevsky wheel. Should we go spin Honda on the main account? I think that's the game plan. Okay. Pass opening, I think is gonna be very interesting to see how the heck that's gonna work out. We have a little bit of time before that happens though. Oh, wow. We can't even get past Glory Stage 2 done. That's a little rough. Uh, Chronicles. Pass probably opens about when my man enters into fighting, which is really awkward. Claim these rewards. Honda Tommy OP. I think Honda Tommy's pretty good. I think that's where I want to be. And we'll see if they... Bring me back into the alliance or not. In the meantime, I guess I could send out some gatherers. Gather something, right? Better than nothing. Almost doesn't matter what on this account, really. Although, look at my crystal tech. I have two crystals. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Boom. Now I got more than two. Put this crystal mine to work. Upgrade it. Oh, yeah. I'm not in an alliance, so that's pretty awkward. Honestly, a little awkward. Whatever. Just queue it up anyways, man. And I'll wait to do research, I guess, till I'm in an alliance? I don't know. Sacred Grips or Hope Cloak? 
Hope Cloak for sure. By a long shot. Pop a shield. Honestly, like, they're all gonna get banned if they hit my city, so I'm not too worried about it. And that's because Lilith is <laughs> taking away people's resources right now, not because I'm any special person to hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take it easy. Uh, I'm gonna do this. That's more a joke about all the... Yeah, okay. I'm high off music. It's cracking up. That's a, that's a, a joke about all the people getting banned for transferring resources, okay? And pillaging resources. Someone's gonna clip that out of context, man. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so for those of you that have been out of touch with what's going on, right now, people who are pillaging large amounts of resources or even just transferring small amounts of resources are getting banned. Banned? Not banned. The resources are getting clawed back. That's what's happening. To the point where, like, I don't know what I can and can't do. When this pass opens, like, I don't think I'm looting any cities. Okay. Should we do the Honda wheel? No more farm accounts? Kind of. Don't transfer a lost kingdom? Yeah. Well, I, I think that they're going to fix this problem, quite frankly. Tiny Tank, cheers. Uh, I think that the resources just disappear, but I don't actually know. I don't think they go back to the governor that they came from. That is a pretty bad spin. Could be worse. I'm actually looking for Honda sculptures, please. Should I dismantle all archer gear if my commanders are going to be 4211 Sid and 5111 Esong? I don't think you should dismantle your archer gear necessarily. One universal is still not a good spin. Zone 5 opens Wednesday around 16 UTC on my main account. Better rally cities with Saladin. Yeah, you're not wrong. At least I can't take any resources and have them claw back, right? Uh, yeah, we've kind of been talking about resources back sort of on and off the entire stream. You see the top canyon lineups near KVK? Sure. Three! Let's go! Four Hondas! Woo! I'm gonna open up the dealership, baby! Right when I thought I wasn't getting lucky. Give me more sculptures. Give me more. Let's go. Come on! Double star? No, 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 no. Building speeds? No, 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 no. Research speeds? No way. Okay. There's one Honda sculpture. God, man. Honda's ultra stingy today. Ultra stingy. Single sculpture? Good. Universal? Good. Double star? Whatever. There we go. Another Honda. Universal. Let's go. Making up for those bad spins now. Okay. Spin again. Let's go. Wood. No. Double star. No. Stone. No. Double star. No. One sculpture. Wow. Jeez, man. Let's spin the wheel again. Research speeds. Wood. 
building speeds. Okay. Universal, let's go, and training speeds. I need clapping audio. So I, I do have I do have this. But I kinda I kinda need something like worthy of the cheer, you know? I mean the four sculptures is good, but you don't bust out the cheer till you hit the eighth spot, you know? Single sculpture? I guess it's okay, man. Okay. Ten Honda sculptures. Give me some Honda around here, man. I got one sculpture training speeds. I mean, okay, research speeds. Two Hondas. That's good. That's good. Two Hondas is a good spin. Ten more spins to go here, and then I'm out. Uncle B, you digging the scammer vids? We got one Honda there. Yeah, where are the eight spots? I have no clue, man. I only have five spins left, zero eight spots, so GG. Oh, so close! Come on! Come on! Rip. Research speeds. Double. That's awful. Well, we tried, fam. Nevsky will is rigged. We tried. We did our best. We'll have to spin it again tomorrow. Skill on Nevsky. Second skill max. I guess I'll max the next skill. That seems good. Yep, that's what I want to do. Okay, well, is what it is. And I can pick up some crystals here. Definitely want to get that done before I forget. Here we go. I thought Hondas were reliable. Greg, I know, right? Honda Tommy is crazy good. I think it's pretty good, man. I would use that march in the field for sure. Okay. Hey, Rachel, welcome back. Man, I just like blasted through gems. I thought I had 130,000 gems and they just like fly through them, huh? What happened to my gems? I guess I had a little less than that. Awkward. Honda Civic? I've never owned a Honda Civic. Okay. Scouts go out. Easy. And my friends... I need to go spend some time with the live stream fairy. It's Valentine's Day. If you enjoyed the live stream, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. I will probably do some battling tomorrow. Ruins, to be determined if I'm streaming it. There's just too much going on, man. If you're looking for more information about my channel, discord.gg slash chiskool is a great place to go. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. Happy Valentine's, everybody. Thanks for joining me on stream tonight.